Since Eric Ten Hag arrived at Man United this summer, he's been trying various things to make them play better. Out of all these things, the one that stands out is the fact that he seems to be interested in former players of Ajax. Yeah, that's right. He's currently pushing for the signature of midfielder Frankie de Jong and has shown interest in winger Anthony. He has also copped the signature of former Ajax boy Christian Eriksen on a free transfer. But of all his transfer deals and rumours, the one that seems to stand out the most was the signing of Lisandro Martinez. You see, there are various reasons why this transfer has generated so much chat. One of them is the price tag of over £50 million, but the main reason why so much has been said about this transfer is actually because of his height. Yep, that's right, Lisandro Martinez is actually just below 5 foot 9 inches tall. Now, we know this may not sound like so much of a big deal initially, after all there are many great players who are below that height, most notably Lionel Messi. Only problem in this case is that Lisandro doesn't just play in any position, he's a defender. No, scrap that, he's actually a centre-back, and well, 5 foot 9 is a pretty short height for a centre-back. Matter of fact, that actually makes him the shortest centre-back in the Premier League currently. Pretty wild, right? But while he may be pretty small for a centre-back, that doesn't seem to put him at so much of a disadvantage. In fact, just to tell you how good he is in his position, he was actually voted Ajax's best player of the season. Pretty cool, right? So, although he may not have a whole lot of physique, this means he definitely makes up for that with other abilities. And here are some of the reasons why he's still a very good centre-back, despite his height. Well, first of all, we must mention that although he may be quite short, he's definitely not bad in the air. Last season in the Champions League, he won about 63% of his aerial duels. For some context, this was an even better percentage than way taller players in that competition like Harry Maguire, Anthony Rudiger, Dejot Upamecano and Eimerick Laporte. But do you know what's even cooler? He actually had a better dual success rate in the domestic league. Yep, in the league, he won 71% of his aerial duels. Pretty impressive, eh? And this figure was the third highest success rate among the defenders who played at least 20 games last season. But what's even more impressive is when you compare his league statistics to those of some tall centre-backs in the Premier League last season. His success rate was 71% and actually better than those of tall players like Dan Byrne, Tyrone Mings and Yannick Vestergaard. So say all you want about his height, but one thing you can't really say is that he's bad in the air. And well, don't be surprised if he ends up replicating such numbers in the Premier League. As for other defensive attributes, he was quite good as well. Last season, he had a tackle success rate of 86% and this is quite impressive for a centre-back and shows he's a tidy defender committing just 18 fouls and picking up just 4 yellow cards in the league all season. All these prove he's a good defender, but that's not all. You see, one of Lissandro's greatest strengths is actually his ability on the ball. He is a very good passer of the ball which helped him complete 89% of his passes last season. This is very impressive for a centre-back and is a highly rated attribute in modern football. It's also valuable in Ten Hag's style of building up play from the defence. Little wonder that he went all out to splash the cash on him. Well, these stats are based on his performance in the Dutch league and we know many people may have a few reservations about that league and there may still be a few doubts about him replicating these performances in the Premier League. But we don't think there's so much to worry about. After all, he wouldn't be the first short defender to excel in the biggest leagues. Yep, that's right. There are many other great short defenders who have come before him, and believe us when we say that considering their achievements, you would probably be shocked by some of the names. First up is Fabio Cannavaro, who won the Ballon d'Or. He achieved greatness for both club and country despite being just 5 foot 9 inches tall. Another player who did similarly well was Carlos Puyol. Needless to say, in his playing days, he was one of the best defenders of this century. He was also a big part of that era of dominance by Barcelona and the Spain national team. And oh, do you remember he also rose highest to score with that header in the 2010 World Cup semi-final against Germany? All of this while being just 5 foot 10 inches tall. There's also Javier Mascherano, and although he didn't start out as a centre-back, he was moved into that position by Pep Guardiola, and he did very well there, even though he was 5 foot 9 inches. We also have other players like Ivan Cordoba, Ron Harris and Franco Baresi. All of these names are only further proof that Lisandro Martinez would likely be fine in the Premier League. 
but that's just what we think. So what do you think? Do let us know in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, also give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications if you would like to get more cool videos like this one. And we'll catch you next time. Bye bye.